At Cardinal Newman, we teach French, German and Spanish. And if you've got a grade six at GCSE in any of those languages, then you can come and study them at A-level with us. We're a team of six members of staff, almost all of whom are native speakers, and we've all got over 20 years of experience of teaching. We have uh, traditional classrooms, but as well as that, we have designated classrooms that are specific for sp uh, conversation lessons, and also we have a language lab and computer suite. Let me introduce you to some of my colleagues. Hola, my name is Pilar Sanz Moreno and I'm head of Spanish at Cardinal Newman College. Bonjour, my name is Odile Jacques and I teach French here. Here is a year 13 student from each of the languages we teach. What are the differences between GCSE and A-level? I would say the main difference is um, not having to memorise the language. At GCSE you're taught and told to memorise um, how to uh, talk about your free time, what you're going to do on the weekend, but at A-level you can now talk about like a whole variety of topics. Um, you're not having to think about what you learned last week, you can just make sentences up on the spot. Um, you can give your opinion, ask questions, and probably understand all sorts of different like contexts and different situations that you're ever in. I say a big difference is um, that in A levels you study about the culture where the language is spoken. So it's different from GCSE where often we'd um, talk about ourselves. Um, A levels you're often learning about. Um, the way life is over there and you also learn vocabulary associated with those subjects. The main differences for me were the difference in vocabulary. We really enhanced our vocabulary when we came to college and as well we enhanced our grammar. Um, we, we get to learn how to properly use our grammar instead of just being having to learn it and being taught how to do it. What themes do you study at year 12 and what themes do you study at year 13? In Year 12, the uh, subjects that we study are family and households in France. Uh, we learn about the youth in France and we also study about French culture and festivals as well as education and work over there. So we do like all sorts of culture related topics. Um, we do things about like German schools, German jobs and opportunities post-education. Um, we do, you learn about like um, a book and a film that's like related to Germany, so I'm doing Die Verwandlung, which translates to like The Metamorphosis and Goodbye Lenin, which uh, shows like the changes in Germany during the fall of the Berlin Wall. In Spanish we study the same as the other languages, except in Year 13 we do about migration and we also do a topic specific to Spanish. We also do a book and a film. The film is El Laberinto del Fauno and the book is Como Agua para Chocolate. So what's a typical week like in languages? In German, I, um, we do like essay analysis and essay practice on Mondays. Um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays we do our topics. Uh, what we're studying at the current moment um, and on Fridays we do like a grammar lesson um, where we focus on a specific aspect of German grammar and practice that for that week. A week in MFL is two lessons of topic, one lesson of grammar and then a lesson of essay skills and exam skills. Um, the class atmosphere is really nice, really informal, it's quite a small size so it's really friendly. Usually in Cardinal Newman what we do every week is we have a conversation class and it's in a um, a small group so it's a lot less intimidating um, and we'll talk about subjects associated with not just with not just France but um, other francophone countries too because French is spoken in a variety of places. What else happens outside of the classroom to help enhance your languages? There's lots of things that you can do. Uh, the main things I would say for German is probably the German exchange uh, where you get like an exchange partner and you go over to Germany, you can practice your German there and then your exchange partner can come over to England and they can practice their English. And um, There's also a Berlin trip uh, which is run um, where we can go over and actually interview um, Germans over there and um, ask them about how they found uh, the fall of the wall and um, how their life was changed during, um, during that period of time. In Year 12, there's an exchange trip to France, to a town called Valence, and we first have the French people come over, um, our exchange students, um, and we get to learn about them and their culture and practice speaking French with them, 
and then afterwards uh, we'll go to Valence and we'll visit the college that they study at, get an experience of the way life is in France, as well as visiting some mon monuments and cities nearby. In year 13 there's a trip to Paris as well and during that trip we go explore the, the city as well as putting our language skills to use which I think is really helpful. For European Day of Languages we have special events, for example last year we did a bake sale. We also have former students coming in talking about their experiences after leaving college and we also have a carol service where each language learns a song from their language and we all perform it together. We hope this gives you a flavour of what it's like to be a modern foreign language student and we look forward to greeting you in our classrooms. If you've got any questions, have a look on the website or just get in touch.